Hello everyone. On this day, I want to share with you a beautiful story about how the Lord has worked to give to the world the hope that we need for this time. Last year, on December 25th, we met together at our temple here in Paraguay, and we studied this beautiful revelation that you see on this screen. And we made this picture as a commemoration of that. This says, we give thanks to the Lord. On December 25, 2022, the Lord revealed the understanding of his Alpha and Omega signature in the sign of the Son of Man, that Jesus prophesied would appear before his coming. And on December 26, 2022, the Ark of Safety for this time in the depiction of the big fish in the sign was unveiled. This was a wonderful journey of discovery and a walk with the Lord, which makes it all worth it. And every time I make a video and share about this, I'm really excited and I pray that many more will understand what the Lord is doing and His wonders. In the Bible, in Matthew 24, 30, Jesus said that a sign will appear, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the heavens. And then he said the tribes would mourn. And this is what we see happening uh, exactly this day that the world celebrates as Christmas. I read in the news about uh, the Christmas in Israel and other areas in the world being uh, damped because of the war that is happening. This was prophesied and the Lord wants to everyone to know the truth. In an article that we wrote, um, we talk about this because it says, and then first shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And we see that this is happening with the sign that we have been sharing with the world for about a year. And it says, and then second shall the tribes of the earth mourn. And if you read the news, this is what is happening now, mourning instead of celebration. And third, they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And this is the hope that is given with this sign. Because as the comets finish drawing the uh, Alpha and Omega, this is the Alpha and Omega signature of the Lord. As they reach the end of their path is the promise that is when Jesus will come. And we want to share that with everybody because the times will get worse and worse. There will be more uh, turmoil in the world. And we want to share a message of hope that is secure in his word. And this is something that is very important because... We are not just sharing any random things, but these are things that are anchored in the Word of God. On our website, we have many articles that we have written about the topic. And as a journey, as I mentioned, you know, first we wrote many articles in this category uh, about this menu, about how God is leading in regards to understanding things like how the comets play a role in his plans. And you know, in, in the Bible says that Jesus comes in the clouds and comets have a coma that is a cloudy um, visible. And this is something that we uh, discovered in, um, in January, um, sorry, June of 2021 when Comet uh, Bernardinelli Bernstein, the greatest comet ever uh, discovered, went into the face, the clock face of the Horologium constellation. And from then on, we have had a wonderful journey of discovery using the Stellarium program and drawing the path of the comets. And then we discovered uh, that there were two comets that were in the area of the Orion constellation, which is the clock of God, and also the Horologium constellation. And as we studied and we 
recognize how they fulfill prophecy, we have shared many articles about the topic. The first article we shared was the sign has appeared and this is a good introductory article that shows how the path of the common comets are showing the Alpha and Omega signature of the Lord. Jesus says, and I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And this is exactly what he's showing here. And he's signing this area in the heavens that is filled with understanding about him. This is the sign of the Son of Man. And in this article that we've written, all these articles that we've written talk about different uh, aspects of Jesus and his prophecies. And the last one that we just shared uh, two days ago talks about him at the center, like it talks in Revelation about the lamb that is worthy to open the seals. And we see Jesus as the lamb in the constellation of Orion. And then this article, you can read about that and understand. So on this day, I want to invite each of you to take the time and to dwell on what Jesus is doing because the Bible says that God does not change. And just like uh, Jesus' first coming, he revealed to those who were eagerly and wanting to know the time of when their Savior, the Redeemer, will come, the shepherds and the wise men. They believed in the prophecies that pointed to the time. And when they saw the star, they recognized the time. And they followed the stars and they found the Savior. And they were so glad and brought gifts to him. And the shepherds the same. The angels revealed to them and they were led to the Savior. And at this time, God is doing the same. He is announcing the coming of his son, like the Bible says. That it's in the power of God that God knows and he will reveal. You can read that in Acts 1. And it is to our benefit to seek understanding and to dwell on what the Lord is showing so that we can have the assurance of his soon deliverance. Because the Bible and the prophecy of the uh, seals of Revelation and on the sixth seal says, for the great day of the Lord is come and who shall be able to stand for the wrath of the of of the day of the Lord and who shall be able to stand we can stand in assurance as we understand his doing through what he has revealed and we invite each of you to earnestly seek the Lord and to test for yourself not to believe our report but to see and to test it for yourself. Just like when Jesus met the woman at the well, she was so impressed by what he was telling her and revealing himself as the Savior. The, the first thing that she did was to go to others and invite them to go and see for themselves. And when they went to see for themselves, they recognized him. So that's exactly what we want to do. That you recognize why this is the sign of the Son of Man. That you examine the understanding that has been given and embrace it in your heart and your mind and receive the wonderful message of the good news of Jesus' soon return.